The HP ZBook Studio G5 for graphic designers, video editors, and photographers. Let's check out this lightweight all aluminum laptop for creative professionals coming at you right now. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. In this video today, we're talking about the all aluminum HP ZBook Studio G5. Now, how well is this computer equipped for video editors, graphic designers, and photographers? We're gonna dive in right now. And if you're curious about the exact pricing or in-depth specs of this model as we're going through the video, anytime you can head down in the description below and click that link. Now, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Leading off, I wanna discuss the build quality of the ZBook Studio G5. Not only does it have an all aluminum top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck with a plastic screen bezel, but each corner and edge of this laptop is well designed. I have seen manufacturers build laptops with good materials, but overlook how those materials are assembled. Weighing in at 4.4 pounds, this laptop makes for a great on-the-go powerful laptop for graphic designers. In comparison, the latest MacBook Pro weighs in at about 4.3 pounds, only 0.1 pounds lighter than this ZBook. Plus, you can get around nine hours of battery life while surfing the web and roughly four to five hours of battery life while doing some design tasks or editing. Those tasks that really put a bigger toll on the power consumption of this laptop. Each corner on the ZBook has been beveled for a smooth finish to the quality aluminum wrapping this laptop. Another thing to point out that really stands out to me is the firm hinge and the lack of screen flex. When I press in the middle of the screen, there is nearly zero screen flex. This is rare for a laptop with two hinges versus a laptop with a single hinge that spans the entire length of the bottom of the screen. The laptop features a bright 4K Ultra HD screen that can reach up to 600 nits, which is roughly 20% brighter than the MacBook Pro. It can reach 96% sRGB, 75% Adobe RGB, and 78% DCI P3 of the color gamut range. So it's a pretty solid laptop for color accuracy. Along the top of the keyboard deck is a large speaker spanning the entirety of the top of the deck. Not a lot of laptops have this type of audio. The MacBook Pro and the Razer Blade R2 off the top of my head, and this audio is solid. Take a listen right now. The keyboard deck is one solid piece of aluminum that wraps down each side, housing the excellent port selection. This solid piece of aluminum is a great aspect of the build quality. This laptop comes specifically with two Thunderbolt ports, an HDMI port, USB 3.0, two of those, an SD card slot, which has ultra high speed two, and a headphone jack. The key press is soft, but not the most quiet I've ever used, but I really do like the layout of the keys. I think they're laid out really nicely with that very standard fashion. So if you're used to a standard keyboard layout, you won't have to get used to this keyboard. You'll just jump right in and feel very at home with this keyboard. The trackpad of the HP ZBook Studio G5 is a very good one. One thing that I like about it is the range of click that it allows. I'm able to click near the top of the trackpad, which is slightly rare. A lot of trackpads don't allow you to click on the upper end of the trackpad, and it can become kind of frustrating when you're trying to make quick design edits or changes. Normally they kind of hinge along the top of the trackpad, which doesn't allow a click to happen there. But with the ZBook, the hinge is really smooth, so it clicks nearly anywhere on the trackpad. A quick cork, but I think it really makes for a nice trackpad in this laptop. Now let's dive into the performance and see what this laptop can accomplish for video editors, designers, and photographers. Do note that the specs are solid for graphic designers and photographers. You have the latest i7-9750H processor, a solid state hard drive, and 16 gigs of RAM. Now, this is a single 16 gig RAM card. Most tests will show that having dual eight gig sticks can actually produce better performance while working in multiple design programs and editing photos. But overall, this is a great setup. The model that I am reviewing comes with the Intel 9th gen i7-9750H processor, 
16 gigs of RAM in a single slot, the NVIDIA Quadro P2000 with four gigs of GDDR5 built in RAM and a storage of 512 gigs solid state hard drive. Now, one thing to note is that NVIDIA Quadro P2000 is built specifically for creative professionals and workstations. So these are better tuned to run tasks for creative professionals. Now we're going to dive into some of the video editing tests to see how well the HP ZBook G5 handles 4K video editing. I'm gonna run through my standard video editing test where I take a nine minute 4K clip, put it into Premiere Pro and export it out at full quality 4K YouTube settings. It can export this nine minute clip in 10 minutes and 32 seconds with the power unplugged. Now, if you plug in the power supply, it will substantially increase the ability for the CPU to pull more wattage and give you a faster export time of around seven minutes to six and a half minutes. So you see a substantial increase in performance of the export time when you're plugged into the power supply versus unplugged from the power supply. Now, let's say you want to save a little bit of time, export out that same 9-minute 4K clip to 1080p. It can do that in 3 minutes and 27 seconds. Now, the really cool thing about this laptop is it is pretty quiet during these export times. So during idle, the fan noise is at around 32 to 40 decibels, depending on what you're doing with your laptop. Sometimes that fan kicks on uh, even when you're just on the internet or doing some productivity tasks. So I did notice that fan kick on a little bit in non-intensive tasks. But the great thing about this is when you're exporting out of Premiere Pro, I saw only a jump to 42 to 45 decibels of noise. So it's a very quiet laptop when exporting, which is great. It is also important to note that the ZBook is able to play back the 4K clip at full quality settings without any lag or stutter in the timeline of Premiere Pro. Overall, this laptop has everything you need for a durable, lightweight, thin, all aluminum, high performance laptop that has a solid battery life for video editors, graphic designers, or photographers. Again, if you're curious about the exact specs or pricing of this model, or if you want to go ahead and make a purchase, you can head down in the description below and click one of those links. Now, again, if you do use that link, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. My name is Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. I thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you here on the next one.